morning youtube how are you guys all doing um it is actually saturday morning here my kids don't actually let us sleep past six even on weekends so i'll put a crack of dawn i just wanted to give you an update on how everything has been going with the um bathroom so to be honest the actual truth is that because this bathroom came out of left field we didn't actually budget any funds for it um and we are going through we are like committing to this zero based budgeting where 100 percent of our finances are accounted for because we are on a mission to pay off our mortgage in under 10 years so we didn't actually budget for the bathroom at all and um we didn't want to go through our savings to pay for everything for the bathroom anyways so what we are doing is that we are going to basically take a little bit out of our paycheck every month this next cost will be quite high because i'm getting all the weedy backer boards um so the weedy boards are basically concrete backer boards which waterproof your shower so it's going to go all on the floor and we're also getting our underfloor heating and we're getting our shower tr our shower tray which is like a weedy shower tray which will be tiled over i think this is the thing with um diy that's what i was telling my one of my friends actually yesterday i was saying diy is basically like cost versus finances so whatever you can um you can choose to to sacrifice so diy is going to take you a lot longer to do um this bathroom will have probably taken like three weeks tops if i got a contractor to do but it will have cost you know more than double what we're paying and um, whereas with us it's taking a lot longer it's gonna probably gonna take about five months altogether that's what we kind of um yeah that's what we kind of thought it would take and it's been about three months now so I think we have a good two months ahead of us to kind of try and complete it um in the meantime actually while i was um not doing the shower i was doing some little diys here and there in terms of making my hallway more welcoming but in this video i'll kind of show you how i did it and i'll kind of do a little um how to and how i put all the paneling on the um on the on the stairway on the hallway upstairs as well painted the door just making it more inviting more welcoming um our hallway was fine but it was like blah um but now it's like sometimes when i wake up and i walk down the stairs i'm like oh i'm happy <laughs> yeah and i really really hope you enjoyed this video um uh, make sure you like and subscribe comment down below let me know like like what you think about it and what you think about the colors i don't really didn't do much of the colors because i'm not really i'm not a good painter and i didn't want to kind of dive into painting the entire hallway but let me know what you would have done differently if you've done something similar to this and yeah thank you so much for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one so i thought i'll start off this video by showing you how the hallway looked like um like i said it was quite bland just painted walls um i had a few um bits on the floor for our um shoes and i um already did some diy on our mirror and put up a shelf i started off by installing the dado rail i made sure it was about 33 inches above from the skirting board and i used um instagram adhesive to stick it on the wall this was all purchased from wix and it was quite um cheap um and i also did the same thing in our upstairs landing play um sorry upstairs landing you kind of have to get the right angle to make sure it was so when working on the picture molding i made sure to do some markers on the wall first just to get the right um dimensions and to make sure i had the right spacing from the dado row and also from the skirting board and thirdly from the wall so in order to make it easier for me to do all of this i just cut up a few spaces so it was six inches um a six inch spacer and a three inch spacer and i also used the leveler to make sure everything was straight and then I just went ahead and used Instagram adhesive to stick this on. This part of the DIY was quite straightforward. Once you have your measurements correct and once you have, um, yeah, once you have all your spaces and you have everything kind of lined up on the wall, is literally just cutting it with a mitre saw. Um, I had a mitre saw, but you can use um, a mitre box and um, a hand saw and it will do the job just as well um and yeah i think because i had a lot more space to do the picture rail the mitre saw was a lot easier and this is just me showing you how i use the spaces just to get the right measurements um and then obviously i used the leveler to make sure everything was straight 
and then that, yeah straightforward just kind of using adhesive making sure we're straight you don't want it to be a little bit off um because it's just something that will annoy you when you're looking at it later on and and yeah it was really really straightforward very very easy to do and i would definitely recommend anyone who wants to elevate their hallway in terms of um working on the um stairs this was a bit tricky um it was hard to kind of get the right angle and i didn't want to show you how i got my angles because i didn't do it in like a conventional way so i will link a video in my bio of what i um watched and what really helped me to kind of get the right angles for the hallway and this is just the finished look once all the molding and the dado roll has been installed as you can see, like my angles on my hallway wasn't perfect, but I filled it all up with caulk. finished painting the first coat um i was gonna actually show you guys how it looks like with just the first coat of paint but i thought i will wait till we do the final review um reveal sorry just so that you can see how it looks uh i have like a little sneak peek behind me of kind of how it looks so far it's really nice it actually kind of you know makes the walls look taller it makes the walls look higher and it really brightens up the hallway um yeah it really kind of made it a really nice welcoming entrance so i'm pleased with how it turned out um it's funny because when i uh first moved into this house i really wanted this panel in and i asked my decorator um if he could do this panel in when he was kind of like painting and touching up the house and he quoted about 800 pounds i think about 800 pounds to do the panel in and i'm really really pleased that I ended up not going with him because £800 might be a fair coat to do like a paneling like this, their paneling. But I only spent, um, yeah, I only spent about £130, give or take, um, on everything, including the paint. So that was for the dado rail, for um, the moulding, for the adhesive um and the paint and even the paint brushes and paint rollers all together came up, to about, came up to about 120 pounds and this could take if two people are doing this job it could take you you know maybe a day a day and a half maybe to complete it it took me about three days um well yeah a little bit longer than three days mostly because stop i was stopping and started and i was living by myself and I, only, I was only doing it for like an hour or so while i was watching the kids so so yeah, it's a really, really simple um, DIY to do. Um, definitely something worth doing if you want to kind of brighten up your hallway. Regardless of the size, it will work in like any room. I also went ahead and painted this door. Um, once all the molding was there, I just thought it would be good to paint the door. I'm using Farrow and Ball Raylin's um, paint. I firstly sanded down the ball, um, the door and I wiped all the dust and everything, all the excess down before I painted. Um, I didn't have any frog tape, so I just used um, a tape that I had at home. I wasn't really bothered to go to B&Q to go and get something. Um, and yeah, this was quite straightforward. Just painted the door, this really nice blue black color. Um, I painted the front, or well, I painted the inside and then I also um, went ahead and painted the outside as well. And once it was all completed, it just kind of added to the look and it just made it even look better.
so pleased with how this turned out like i said it's very easy to do and it will be perfect for a beginner diy or just something to elevate your house thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below and um, i'm really really looking forward to hearing what you all have to say but thank you thank you for watching